Assalamu alaikum dear friends welcome back to top lesson for you friends you know that we are discussing about the tissues of the human body and we have started discussion on the connective tissue of the human body so in the previous lecture <coughs> i had just introduced connective tissue and then we discussed about the uh, ground substance of connective tissue let me uh, a little bit introduce the previous lecture for you guys look carefully we had said that a connective tissue in our body connective tissue in our body is made up of three important factors the first one are the uh, yeah I, I will say the ground substance ground substance right then we know that in a connective tissue there are cells and then we know that in a connective tissue there are fibers present right so everywhere in your body wherever there is connective tissue there must be the presence of these three important factors in that tissue right so look carefully the ground substance of connective tissue we had said that it is composed of uh, glycoproteins it is composed of proteoglycans and then another factor also present there right and then Glycosamine glycans GAGs are present in the ground substance of the connective tissue. This was discussed in the previous lecture. What are these glycoproteins and proteoglycans and glycosamine glycans? What are these? I have already recorded about them. Now, about the cells of the connective tissue. In the previous lecture, I had introduced that the cells of connective tissue, there are two types of cells which are present in the connective tissue. These are the permanent cells permanent cells and then there were the visiting cells which will visit the connective tissue and then will, they will go out of that uh, tissue again and again come in. So, they are the, these are the guest cells which will come to the connective tissue and then uh, they will go out. In the permanent cells, we have discussed that there are osteoblasts, osteocytes, uh, chondroblasts, chondrocytes, pericytes epithelial cells, myoepithelial cells, mast cells. So, I have already discussed all of them. Now, in this lecture, we are going to record about each cell in detail, right? And uh, then uh, there were the visiting cells which we, we had said that mostly they are WBCs and they are plasma cells which come to the tissue and they perform their action and then go out uh, and then uh, if they are needed again they will come back and they will perform their function and then go back so they are the so these cells are the cells which will permanently reside in the connective tissue so if you haven't watched this lecture about the introduction of the cells of the connective tissue so please go and watch that lecture to have knowledge of the cells right then we said that there are fibers in the connective tissue and there are three important types of fibers in the connective tissue those are the elastic fibers elastic fibers those are the reticular fibers and those are the collagen fibers in the coming lectures we will have uh, complete lecture on these elastic fibers, reticular fibers and the collagen fibers of the connective tissue. So friends, let us discuss about these cells each in detail, right. The first cell which we are going to discuss about is the uh, osteocyte, right, osteocyte. What is osteocyte? Little bit introduction of these type of cells. These are the cells these are the, I will say they are the mature cells of the mature cells of bone tissue. These are the mature cells of bone tissue. You know, in the previous lecture, I had told you the difference between a blast cell and a side cell. Look carefully. What is meant by blast cell? In the previous lecture, I told you that blast is a cell which will always produce this ground substance and these fibers. What is a blast cell? Blast is a cell which will always produce the ground substance and the fibers for that tissue, right? So, I had given an example that these blast cells are the young people which have the capability of producing offspring, producing babies, right? But these side cells, 
right these are the elder cells elder cells elder cells means they are aged cells right i will write they are aged cells and they have lost the capability of producing offsprings or producing babies so in sometimes in life these site cells were also the blast cells but after some time they lost the capability they lost the ability to produce these fibers and these ground substance then they become site <clears throat> right so mature or elder or aged cells of the bone tissue are called site cells osteocytes but the image but the but the fibers producing cells but the ground substance producing cells are called the osteoblast cells and after this i will discuss osteoblast cell right so what is <clears throat> osteocyte cell osteocytes are the mature or the aged or the elder cells of the bone tissue right it means that these osteocytes cannot produce further ground substance and further uh, uh, fibers for the bone tissue okay friends next what is their shape you know we should have a little bit knowledge of these uh, type of all of these connective tissues so i'm just sharing this knowledge with you guys what is the shape of these cells if you want to look at the osteocyte how will these cells be shown to you guys so they may be the books written have have written that they are the stalet cells shape stalet shape or they are the star shaped cells star shaped and i will draw the diagram here don't worry so star shape so these cells are somewhat like <clears throat> this is the body uh, i mean cell body of these cells and these are the extensions of these cells so they are they make a a steric shape or a star shape like structure so if you if you see these osteocytes they have a nucleus in their center right and then cytoplasm and other uh, important factors which are uh, present in the inside our typical cell so these uh, are the extensions of this cell so they are star shaped cells and i should draw another one also here this is another uh, osteocyte right and these are the extensions of this osteocyte so they make a, a star shaped structure like this right friends so why i drew another cell here because i wanted to clear a very important concept that these cells they <coughs> exchange substances and exchange impulses with each other i will tell you well i'll discuss about the functions of these cells so look carefully i'm uh, repeating and repeating many times the one important factor because i want to you guys to remember it permanently so they are the star shaped uh, star shaped or stellate like cells they are present in the bone cell and they are the mature cells in bone tissue they are the mature cells and they don't have any capability of producing fibers and ground substances so they are the uh, these are the osteocytes right and then what about their number what about their number how many osteocytes do we have in our body so approximately they have written that there are about 42 billion 42 billion cells in our body we have these osteocytes you know our human body is made up of 100 to 70 to 100 trillions of cells so about 42 billion cells are the osteocytes in our body then what is their life span life span whenever they are produced for how much time they remain in our body and then they die so their life span they, they, they have written in the book that their uh, their life span is about 25 years for 25 years these osteocytes can live in our bone tissue and they are always caring for the bone tissue and the other cells which are present in the bone tissue so they are the caring cells right as our elder ones in our houses our our grandfathers our grandmothers our father and our mother they are always caring for us in in our houses whenever we are going somewhere we are bringing something we are eating something so they are always careful about us so these are the cells which are always careful about the bone tissue 
right <coughs> then these cells are derived from what derived from look carefully friends these are the basics about all these cells which I am discussing so look I had told you that whenever <coughs> In the previous lecture, I had told you that uh, during embryonic uh, life, uh, the, the, the sperm and the ova, when they fuse together, right, they make zygote, right, and then the, uh, the, the, the nuclei fuse together, and the zygote will start dividing, they make two cells, and then they make four cells, right, and then they make eight cells, and then marula, and then blastocyst, whatever all the cells come to one side right and blastocyst all the cells come to one side and then water enters okay this, this is the water cavity then what happens all these cells arrange themselves in two layers we call it bilaminal disc we call it bilaminal disc and then these upper this is called the ectoderm this is called endoderm in the previous lecture i had told you that uh, one ha what happened these ectodermal cells ectodermal uh, cells will start a uh, division and uh, the, the cells which are uh, dividing which are newly produced they migrate uh, uh, to the uh, area in between these two layers so what will happen this is the newly formed cells and these are the old cells which are uh, which were present there look carefully now it is how many layers it is two layers three layers so this is bilaminal bileminal and this is trileminal trileminal right so in the trileminal disc what are these these are the ectodermal cells these are the endodermal cells endodermal cells and these are the mesodermal cells mesodermal cells so i had told you in the previous lecture that all the connective tissues cells right they are derived from these mesoderm so in this mesoderm there are cells which are called the mesenchymes right these are called the mesenchymes and different type of mesenchymes will migrate to different areas of the body and they will start producing different type of connective tissues so these are the uh, yeah progenitor cells they will become the progenitor cells right so we say that these osteocytes are also derived from these mesenchymes and those cells from mesenchyme which migrated to the uh, to form uh, to somewhere of the body to form the bone so we call them osteo <coughs> progenitor cells osteoprogenitor cells <clears throat> right and these osteoprogenitor cells are the are the are the types of the mesenchyme cells so i will write here the mesenchyme cells mesenchyme cells right so osteocytes are derived from osteoprogenitor cells right friends and then what is their location in which part of the bone are these cells located look these are the very important uh, features of these cells that I'm discussing look carefully friends if I will make a bone here <coughs> for example you just consider that this is a bone and this is a long bone right and I will take a small piece of this bone out and I will enlarge it and then we will see that in this long bone this typical long bone there are uh, there is a central canal which is called yeah and then uh, around this canal there is the mass of the bone in a ring shape right in a ring shape so we call this ring as the concentric uh, rings we call these rings as concentric rings and in, inside these concentric rings there are special type of uh, places in which these cells are placed and these special type of areas are called the lacuni right in these concentric rings this yeah look carefully this is called haversian's canal haversian canal right 
around this haversian canal there is the arrangement of the mass of the bone so this is the bone mass right and in these type of rings like structures there are special type of places in which the bone cells i mean these osteocytes are located so these what are these these are osteo side cells right and they are located in special type of places they are called the lecone right so what is the location of osteocytes osteocytes are located in <coughs> lecone in concentric concentric rings right rings of bone <coughs> tissue right so now you know about the location of these type of cells these type of osteocytes which are present in the bone tissue the next important feature of these cells that what is their size <coughs> right so you know these cells have length length and width so what is the width of these cells and then we will say what is the length of these cells so the the the, the width of these cells is about 7 micrometer or we say 7 micron and the length of these cells is about 15 micrometer right friends then <clears throat> the last thing about these cells that what is their function what is their function so look carefully <clears throat> Their important function is to synthesize certain molecules, not the bone mass. Friends, look carefully. They don't synthesize these ground substances and, and these fibers. They don't synthesize. They synthesize certain only special type of molecules. So I will write their their, their their function is certain molecular synthesis and then transmission of signals. Right? Their important function is transmission of signals now look carefully i will i will uh, i will uh, explain this uh, uh, function look these cells <coughs> right i mean these osteocytes they have the capability to conduct impulses from one cell to other cell that's why i have made these extensions close to each other so whenever anything synthesized here or this cell wants to inform this cell right so what will he do he will uh, he will release certain <coughs> transmitter right he will release certain transmitter and for that transmitter there will be receptor on this cell so whenever this cell releases this transmitter that transmitter will come and activate this receptor and this cell will be activated and this cell will uh, propagate will, will send that impulse to the other cell and to other cells so in this way these osteocytes communicate with each other right in order to maintain the mass of the bone in order to care for the tissue for the bone tissue so molecular signals are transmitted through glutamate neurotransmitter glutamate neurotransmitter right so these cells use which type of uh, neurotransmitter the glutamate neurotransmitter they use and they transmit impulses uh, with each other in order to create certain homeostasis in the bone tissue so friends i hope you like the lecture this was about the osteocyte cell now let us discuss about the osteoblast cell <laughs>